Front desk, this is Jake. This is Lieutenant Diana with the University of Notre Dame Police Department. Thank you for calling the Driscoll. Pick this is Jake. Can we assist you? Hello. This is Diana at the police Hello? department. Can I help you? Hi. Can I can I help you? This is the Driscoll Hotel in Austin. I Texas. have no idea where. Hello. I am so sorry. You're breaking up. I cannot hear a thing you're saying. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about. We received several phone calls this evening. Okay, we're at the Driscoll Hotel in Austin, Texas. This is a huge line that has a lot of different phones. What? Who is this? This is the Driscoll Hotel. Who was uncooperative on the phone? Yeah, I don't know who you're talking to. I'm so sorry. You you have a good night, okay? We've been Bye-bye. having several phone calls from some gentleman okay. calling us here in Indiana. Thank you so much for calling the Driscoll Hotel. I'm, 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 sir, okay, this is a... Okay, this is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Uh, we're trying to see who's this individual that's calling the station here. Yeah, I, I'm not too sure. It's coming. What's the number that it's coming from? It's what? What number is calling? This is the number that I just called. That's why we were able to contact this number right back. Yeah, I have no clue. I'm so sorry. This is the Driscoll Hotel. Okay. Listen to what I'm saying, sir. We just had uh, several phone calls from this number, okay? And the individual, ha- and we're leaving lewd and lascivious phone comments. He was saying how he wanted to have sex with the officers, and he also had other you things that was threatening the officers. That's why we were able to contact this number and call this individual right back. Yeah, I have no clue what you're talking about. This is a hotel. Okay, who is this I'm talking to right now? My name is Jake. I'm the front office manager. Who are you? Who, who, okay. Who? What's the first name of the individual I'm talking to? Listen to what I'm saying, sir. No, uh, no. Okay, you, is... I answered your question. You need to answer my questions because this sounds okay. like a very fraud call. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, this is Officer Ed Powell with the Cleveland Police Department. Do you even know what state this is? Like, do you even know what phone, like, do you know what well, I'm, state you're well, calling? I'm not, well, listen to what I'm saying, sir. We had two calls from this number, okay? That's what we called you back. All right. Well, I can confirm that nobody has called from here, so... Well, I'm that's so why sorry. we were able to call no, you right nothing. back. I'm so sorry. I, I have no clue what you're talking about. This This is a hotel where it has multiple different lines through a main line. Yeah, we heard you, sir. Okay, who's calling this number? Who's calling us here this district? That's what we want to know. I have no clue, but what you can do is how about you go ahead and call, um, how about you go ahead and take this email down so I can give you the manager of this establishment? How about okay. that? Uh, well, the, the, uh, what's your phone number, sir? Uh, 512-252. Okay, no, you got that wrong already. Five one two five one two Okay. Four three nine. Pardon, sir? One, two, three, four. What's the other? No, that's it. I apologize. I'm not and what's the last two digits? Uh three four. Who, what no, you said R R what? I I'm so sorry. You're breaking up. I can't hear a thing you're saying. I'm listen to what I'm saying, sir. Well, the what we're having right now is we have uh the folks listening to this conversation as uh we're listening to you listening to the, you know the folks listening and uh we're listening to you right now. Okay, as the front office man, so since they're okay. listening to this and okay. this is being okay. recorded, this okay. is perfect. I need you to listen to me for okay. one y'all, second. Y'all got, y'all taping. This right. is being right. recorded. Okay. This is the y'all, front y'all office y'all manager of the Driscoll Hotel. 
So if you have any issues or you need to speak to anybody above, my general manager's name is Marcus Perskowitz. And you, is you, what? you feel free to go ahead and contact him. But other than that, I mean, they're – this to me, like this sounds. No, like you a said, Mr. Call. Stevens. I, is what? I I can't hear you. I'm Stevens. so sorry. You're breaking up. I I can't hear a thing you're saying. Stevens. I'm what? so sorry. Ordering these. Just go front desk. How can I help you? Hello. Hi, this is Sasha. How can I help you? Um, this is the Hyatt Regency Cleveland at the Arcade. This is the Driscoll Hotel. No, I understand that. Can you explain to me what's going on? In what sense? Um, the CPD called the Hyatt Regency in downtown Cleveland. And they called my supervisor. And Ed Powell said, pull the phone records and get them over right now. Okay, um, I'm going to place you on a brief hold and grab my manager. Okay. I know that we did just get a slightly fraudulent-seeming call. Um, this is honestly ringing in the same tune to me, so let me come right back to you. No, it's not me. Okay. Okay, let me come right back to you. Okay. Thank you for holding. This is Jake, the front office manager of the Driscoll Hotel. Can I ask who I'm speaking to first and last name, please? Yes, this is Max McLean. I'm the front office manager here at the Hyatt. What? Can you spell your first name for me? Max. And last name? McLean? Um, can you fill me in on what's going on? I literally have no clue what's going on, but I need you to spell out your last name for me, letter by letter. Um, the CPD called the Hyatt Regency in downtown okay, I'm, Cleveland, I, I'm and so sorry. they called my supervisor, and, and Ed Powell said, pull the phone records and get them over right. Thank you for calling the Driscoll front desk. This is Sasha. How can I help you today? Um... I'm I'm very confused. Okay. Is there something I can help you with? Yes. Can you fill me in on what's going on? I currently cannot because I do not know what you're referring to. What exactly do you mean when you say what's going on? Um, so, Mr. McLean, he said the front desk called the guest, and they called the Hyatt, so... I'm going to need you to rephrase that one because um, um, I'm not getting very much information from you. I can't give you any information, A, if I don't know who I'm speaking to, B, what okay. this is in regards to. I'm the front office manager here at the Hyatt. So I don't... Yes, you've yet to uh, identify yourself. So, so front office manager, I need first and last name. Max McLean? Can you spell out McLean? Um, that's not what I said. So, from my that understanding, is, someone staying at the hotel called Ed Powell, no, no, and no, Ed Powell called over. the phone number that's we're calling not. you. So, my supervisor, he said, can I have the number to the hotel? And I said, yes. And he said, pull the phone records and get them over right now. So, I Terrific. said, we can cooperate with you. So, Mr. McLean, he said, Sir, can I'm get a hold of my GM. Sir. And... They called my supervisor, and my supervisor. He's called the Hyatt Regency. That's okay. I will let you know right now. You're not going to get anywhere with these phone calls until we can have um, cooperative information. Okay. Um, if you do not choose to answer our questions as to identifying yourself, we cannot go any further. Okay. Um, okay. Yes, would you sir. Like to identify yourself? This is Max. You've said that a couple times, but you would not like to spell out your last name, so we can either spell out the last name or we can get off the phone. C U N T.